Hello everybody, my name is Chime Time. Today I'm going to be doing a review of probably one of my favorite anniversary clocks in my collection. This is a Kundo uh, dual chime anniversary clock. It's not very large. I'm going to put the dome down here so it doesn't break. Um, this anniversary clock I only got for $9 at the thrift store. It has two chimes. It has Westminster and Bim Bam. But there's two other variants of uh, chimes of the clocks that sound like this. There's a Ave Maria variant, and then there's a Ode to Joy variant. This is this, this is the Westminster and Bim Bam variant. I would change the I would ch change the chime, but I don't know if you can see. But the knobs are missing on the back, so it's stuck on Westminster. Which honestly, it's it's a chime that I really like. So of course I'm gonna have it on Westminster. I'm going to take it to the top of the hour so you guys can hear it chime. It has a very beautiful chime. Now one thing unique about this anniversary clock is that it does quarter striking. That's right, it chimes the quarters. Of course, most of the clocks that sound like this do have quarter striking or include it. So, I guess it's not really anything special with a clock that sounds like this, but anniversary clocks that sound like this are pretty uncommon. Like, most, most of the time you get an anniversary clock that sounds like this one. Yeah. <laughs> But I'm so happy to actually own a not only a quarter striking anniversary clock, but one that, of course, sounds like this. Because I've been looking for a clock that chimes like this for a long time. Longer than a clock that sounds like a Seiko, of course. But um, I'm really happy to have not only a quarter striking anniversary clock, but a clock in general that sounds like this. But yeah, there's two other variants. There's a uh, Ave Maria variant, and then there's a Ode to Joy variant. I'm actually going to be purchasing an Ave Maria, the Ave Maria variant of the movement to, put, to possibly put in a clock. I'm going to be traveling to the thrift store looking for a clock to possibly work with that. But um, yeah, I, I'm very happy to have a clock that at least sounds like this. Anyway, I love the design of the pendulums, you know, the crystals, the speaker, and the battery. It's actually located at the bottom. But yeah, I'm really happy to have a clock that sounds like this. And as you can see, the knobs to the back are missing. So I can't really, like, shut it off at night. I have to, um, I have to take the battery out every single night. But, yeah, this is probably one of my favorite anniversary clocks in my collection. More than this one, more than this one, and more than that one back there, which you can't really see. Yeah, mainly because of what it does and... Yeah, I hope to find the Ode to Joy variant. Oops, I forgot the dome was off. Yeah, I, I hope to find the uh, the Ode to Joy variant because from what I've hear, heard, um, that variant is actually pretty uncommon. So, with a variant that's uncommon, like a chime that does Ode to Joy, then yeah, I would love to find that one. But I don't know if the movement is available. I, I'll, I'll look around and see what I can find. But right now... Uh, this is about it for this video. Uh, thanks for watching and bye.